Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our logout portions, right? So right now in this video, I want to update our this theme that means default that is when I install that Laravel default authentication system is actually provided one of the JD stream theme. So here I want to do and to actually change it. Here I want to load our theme. If you go to our theme, that means in our theme directory and they have also one of the pages. You can see there is a sign in page and the sign up page. So if you open it, so that is the uh, locking panel I want to use. Okay, so here I want to use this one. I don't want to use this default one. So if you want to change it, how can change it in this video? I will show you that things with the live example. For doing this, first of all, you have to understand where exactly that file location. That means if you want to find out that file location, you have to go to your file. That means here. So in particular that area, if you go to our auth, into the auth, you can see that is actually one of the locking blade.php. So that is the file actually now working. Okay, so this is the file is now working. You can see that is also one of the default route. As I told you, friend, when you install the default authentication system, it's actually provided some of the default route as a login. So that will be as a one of the action and that is the um, user type and the e name and that is a password and that is our um, another one remember password and the forget password right so right now here i want to do and actually change it here i want to add our um, theme that means our theme this panel so if you want to use it so that is in a sign in dot html first of all i want to do uh, here we don't need this right now better i remove it okay i remove it there is a sidebar we needed index i remove it so that is all locking so here i simply uh, change that file better i uh, copy everything i cut it from to this position and here i open with another one i paste it and now go to our file and here i want to open it with our this text editor so that is our text editor i copy everything I copy everything from our signin.html and do the default locking.blade here I paste it. Okay friend. So here if you want to change it, you can change it as per your demand. So here that is one of the links. So I want to do and to actually change it. I name it as a one of the another name as easy learning, easy learning bd.com. And then that is our dashboard. So if you want to change the dashboard, I want to change it as a easy okay easy um, dashboard and then here we don't need to i don't want to use it here i make it as easy and then i want to do that is our all that part as input field you can see so before do this i want to update our this css all that file okay so here if you want to change it i think you already remember that part what exactly you have to do so now i want to do and to change it it should be as a asset okay that means the asset and here better i copy it or cut it and here i paste it i want to update it's just like our mm, main template i have already discussed about that things with you here i update date okay and after that i have already created one of the folder as a backend backend and then our asset folder so here also we have to update it better i copy it and paste it so I paste it on every places and uh, um, there is also another JS file, right? So here also we have to update it. So may make it as a backend and then the asset. I copy it and also here we have to update, right? So now I want to do and actually take it. That means here I take that CSS cut it from here and here I paste it and also from here I cut it and then I paste it then i cart it okay i cart it from here and then i paste it and then again i cart it that is a css i cart it and then the paste it i cart it and then paste it i cart it and then paste it there is another one i cart it and then paste and then cut and paste perfect so here we successfully updated our all that css for our this theme so here i simply update it okay and after that here we have to do we have to change like that means here that is also another one 
I cut it and here I update and I paste it perfect so after that here you can see friend that is also um, that is a slack dashboard I make it as a easy dashboard so I make it as an easy dashboard okay and then there is a sign in so here I want to do and to change that our input field so here there is input field for our email and there is input field for our password so it should be just like our main portion so here I have already saved it that means here I have already take this part so right now I want to do I want to simply replace it okay so with this you can actually do that work very easily and here you can see that is one of the form that is a method as a post and action route will be as a locking right so now I want to do I want to actually replace it better I copy it with the CSRF token I copy it and now go to our template into the template that is also one of the form right so now I want to do I want to actually change it I make it as a form will be method as a post and route will be as a locking and then our CSRF token and after that that is our input field as a type email there is one of the ID so here we don't need any ID and then placeholder will be as a email uh, make it as a um, email okay I make it as an email and then from here if you go our default one into the default one that was actually type as email and the name will be as email okay so here I only want to do I want to take it name email so here after this after this I take it as a name will be as a email and also same as the password type will be as a password everything is perfect so here we don't need any ID here I want to do I want to add hmm, for the password here you can see there is actually the password and name will be as a password so I copy that password and here I want to do and to update this that will be as a password perfect okay and then there is a remember so here if you want to add that remember and then that is actually the remember and then another one as a forget password because of all here you can see there is also another option for the forget password link I have already discussed about that things with you so for the forget password that have also one of the default one so that is our route has been as a password request and then the one of the routes this is the route will be needed that is our, one of the default route I have already discussed about that things with you when you run as a PHP addition route list so that is the default route okay and there is a password request so now I want to do and to copy it and also in our template in the template you can see there is a forget password so for the forget password that is also one of the URL so here I want to do and to update this URL okay friend that means when you click as a forget password it should be returned redirect to our password request um, that is one of the routes so it should be returned redirect to our particular that area and that is the sign in do you have uh, you registered yet that is our sign up so here you can also add your sign up that means the register URL so if you want to add that register URL you have to do you have to add it like I show you if you um, run again if you run again that our route list if you go to the CMD and PHP artisan route and then list so that is also another default one as a register maybe I show you uh, that is our user and that is our two factor you can see that is actually the register so here you can actually that is a default one of the routes you can actually pass it to the register register here if you go to our locking and the register if you click enter here you can see our register page is loaded so right now if you want to put that URL you can also put it so here you have to do you have to update that URL that means this route so I copy it and here I paste it it will be as a register okay that means it will be as a register route so that is actually our register route right so that is the default one so now that's all you have to do friend so here I have successfully updated everything and now if you click as a save so I save it and now if you go and refresh it yes you can see it's now successfully updated friend so that is our easy dashboard that is a sign in portion here you have to do you have to add your email address and then the password and there is a remember me option there is a forget password if you click as a forget password it will be returned redirect to the our forget password URL which I have already updated and the sign up yeah you can see it's now returned redirect to our register page so everything is great so here I have updated that part 
so that is our um, password that means the forget password url and that is our registered url so right now i'm to, to, to check it everything is perfectly working or not for our this form for the sign in okay so there is the input field and there is another input field for the password so now if you click as a refresh and now here i put my um, appropriate email address and the password and after that if you click as a locking that means the sign in it should be redact returned redirect to our dashboard yes you can see it's not perfectly returned redirect to our dashboard page so from here you can log out and you can also log in okay friend so how can change it that means that was default uh, jdstream one of the um, default one of the layouts so right now i change it and i make it appropriate our theme okay so right now we are using this theme so here we successfully updated that part and that is our copyright is also updated so how can do that work friend i hope it's very much clear to you so here we successfully complete this part so if you want to change that sign up okay sign up will be just like that same here in your in our team that have also another page for the sign up so here you have to do you have to update it okay so that is your task that is your task that is a sign up.html so if you open it so that is our sign up page so here you have to do you have to add it in our particular this area here you can see there is auth into the auth there is a register blade so that is the register blade is now working so here you have you can actually replace it as per your demand for our, this theme so that is your task try to change it try to replace it and here try to replace it with our this theme layout that means this theme sign up layout so here you have to do you have to apply it so right now it's okay so right now we successfully changed our logging so right now we can actually logging it from to this position so here we successfully updated that part so if you put your appropriate username password it should be returned redirect to our this logging page so that means our dashboard page so you know next video i want to discuss about our founding so for the founding as i told you friend for the founding i also want to use uh, some of the another themes so how can load another theme in particular that area for our founding and after that how can make it dynamic from to the back end we will manage everything so how can do that work step by step i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video